hi yo welcome back to bam glam diy so in today's edition i want to teach you how to make this very cheap liquid soap we'll be making use of free components to make this and you can actually make this for any purpose at all be it washing laundry cleaning of surfaces and etc if you want to learn how to make this liquid soap just continue watching this video to the end and you actually learn it so the first thing i did was to measure out three liters of water into a bubble i'm making a 10 liters badge by the way so the first thing i added was to add in my natural soap Natural soap is one of the basic uh, gum thickeners you can always see in any chemical store or, or any chemical market. It is actually um, a HEC kind of powder, hydroxyethyl cellulose. So you need to add at least 50 grams of it to your plain water and mix very well for like 10 minutes before you add in your sulfonic acid. Now, I know you'll be wondering why we're adding sulfonic acid into this. This sulfonic acid is actually a forming agent. Is it also a degreaser it helps to remove oil stains from your from your plates it is one of the basic agents um, foaming agents or cleaning agent when you're talking about powder detergent in fact if you want to talk about the classes of detergents sulfonic acid go come then texapone go follow a good combination of sulfonic acid and texapone good mix of them can give you a very beautiful outcome in your soap which is your foaming power will actually be elevated. Bear in mind that the ratios I'm using in this formula, you can actually up it or increase it for more foaming or more cleansing ability. But like I said, this is barest minimum and it is okay. Going with your tezapon gel, mix it very well and then we'll set it aside. Now, remember, we we'll also have to activate this production so that the sulfonic acid will be very active in this product. But after mixing it, set it aside. You can see the texture this natural soil is giving me. This is the normal natural soil you buy along the road. This is not Gino cell. There is Gino cell. There, are, there is also one they call HPMC powder. The one I'm using is natural soil. You can see it everywhere. Now, I got a bigger bowl. Remember, I'm making 10 liters. Inside that bigger bowl, I added 5 liters of water. Into that 5 liters of water, I now incorporated the foaming agent that we have mixed together. Now, mix very well. Please, one reason why your soap normally cuddles up or settles beneath it is if you don't mix well. So, starting from the point where you're adding your, your natural soap powder, make sure you mix at least 5 to 10 minutes for each ingredient that you add. And then also bear in mind that it is also very good that you dissolve all your powdered ingredients with water perfectly before you add them. For my SLS powder, I will dissolve it with water and set it aside. Please don't be worked up. You can check the description box or the caption box or also inside this video. I will always leave the recipe for you to follow. And now in this cup, green cup, what I have here is my soda ash and then my kitchen salt. If you want to add caustic soda to this recipe, good and fine. It's all good. It can take but just a little quantity. That is what it can take. The quantity of soda ash I'm adding here is to help me to activate my... Uh, sulfonic acid in the recipe and then for the preservative the one i'm using is methylparaben you can use any preservative that you can see around you once everything is dissolved adding that to your sls liquid sls powder that you have dissolved into liquid form add it in and incorporate it very well then you go into your fragrance for this recipe if you want to add something like glycerin to it in order to for act as a humectant to to for people when they are using it to wash their hands please feel free to add it this is actually the recipe in full if you want to have a full screenshot of it and now for the fragrance, I use a little bit of lemon fresh and then Fanta orange. I combine them together and it smells very amazing. These are quality fragrance I'm using. They are not diluted and they are as pure as ever. Now once I was done with that, I added my diluted soda ash and salt. You can see in that green cup that there are some parts of the soda ash that didn't dissolve very well. Yes, please don't force it. Leave that part alone and then you go in with your preservative. Now, if you want to add in EDTA into this recipe, feel free to add. About 25 grams of EDTA is okay. You can add it last after making this production. If you don't have money to buy EDTA or you can't find it in your area, no problem, no palaver. Now, we're adding in our foam booster. This is the foam booster I prepared with my hand on this channel right here. If you don't have a vi the video on how to make foam booster, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll drop it for you, the link for you. 
but you can also buy the phone booster that is sold in the market and add once you are done allow it to the next day by the next day this is what you'll be having it will be very clear very transparent and be giving you what you need the sulfonic acid i use is the lowest grade the dark one this one is very cheap the quantity of sulfonic acid i buy i can buy it as even as cheap as two eight or three thousand naira per liter but it's the dark shade so it normally gives me this dark color after my production but that does not affect my final coloring you can see i'm coloring green green color and the green color still came out as beautiful as it should be please there are other grades of sulfonic acid in the market that is clearer than the one i use so don't be confused those ones might be as expensive as three eight per liter like I said, most of the things I use in working or shooting content, I buy them in bulk and I source for the cheapest ever in the whole Nigeria before I can make purchase of any component or any chemical I'm using. So once you are done, color, you can see this soap is soapy now. Ah, the soap is radiating. Just, just, just check it, go in here and mm, just snap them. Do them, check them. The soap is beautiful, Jerry. If you know one talk at me, I know say the soap fine. So after making this, you can pack it. And it forms. It forms heavily. It forms very well. Once you are done, pour it inside container. Keep it in your house. And save your family the stress of spending unnecessary money outside in buying soap. You people can use this and wash your clothes. You people can use it and clean your house. You people can use it and wash your, uh, your plates. You can even package it and use it and travel. Eh? We are getting to that time of the year where everybody will start traveling back home. Make it 20 liters. Use it and travel. Give your fellow women. Thank you. Please, have you clicked like button? Have you subscribed? Have you shared this video? Have you shared this content so that another person will see it? Thank you all. And thank you all for the massive love and massive support I get from you all. You guys are the best. Mwah!